Hi there and welcome back to John's Watch John and welcome to my full review of the Bugatti Design PD1766 chronograph watch with the Seiko VK64 movement inside it. Now as you know I opened this box at the weekend simply because the sale was ending on AliExpress and a lot of you wanted to see this watch so it's to let you see it in the flesh and I know that some of you acted on that so thank you very much guys. A few of you got this watch at a very good price. Now I would also like to thank Andrew Weir at the Pagani Design brand at Flagship Store. He contacted me and asked me to do a review of this watch for him. He has no input into this review at all. And as you know, any conclusions made about this watch are mine and mine alone. But I would like to thank him for being very professional. We had a little issue with the order, which it turned out was my fault. So I do apologise, Andrew. Thank you so much. Now, as you saw in the unboxing, this is the premium box. This will cost you an extra $8. It's quite large and you can normally get a 4x3 box. It won't cost you anything at all. And you get the same inside the box. So you get the watch, the spare strap, the cleaning cloth, the tag, the spring bar removal tool. Of course, your booklet and your warranty card. It's a two-year warranty with this watch. And these are all the things you actually get with it. As you will see here, I've got a 6.75 inch wrist and I removed six links from this watch. I would suggest that anybody down to 6.5 inches would manage with this bracelet any smaller than that and you will be struggling. Okay, so let's get into the specifications of this watch and then we can get it on wrist and have a good look at it. And here is the watch in glorious green. What a beautiful metallic finish this is. What lovely sunburst. See how the light catches the dial and also that domed sapphire. The blue AR is doing a very good job there. Very nice indeed. There are another couple of colourways with this watch. I'll just bring up the screen just now and I'll bring up the Pagani Design brand flagship store. And as you can see there, you can also get it in blue and you can also get it in a black textured finish as well. And the difference with the black one is it's a sandwich dial. So the indices are actually sunken into the dial and it's uh, very much a Fotina effect. I don't know how that will affect the loom on that watch. But on this one, I'll show you the luminescence in the cover of Doom later on. So very nice. Prices start at £72 if you go for the leather option. If you then go for the bracelet option like this one, you're going to be looking at £80. And if you go for the bracelet with the big box I showed you at the beginning of the video here, then you're looking at £88. Though I would suggest just stick with the normal size box because we're all struggling for room. As watch collectors, I know I am anyway. But there you go. So three very nice colourways there. I think I got the choice one. I'm happy with my choice. But let's go through the specifications of this watch. So this is the Pagani Design PD1766. It houses the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement, which we all know, love and trust. The diameter of the watch is 40 millimetres. The lug to lug is 48.1 millimetres, just right in that Goldilocks zone. Lug width is a standard 20 millimetres. Thickness is a good 12.9 millimetres. It has a domed sapphire crystal with a blue anti-reflective coating. We have 100 metres of claimed water resistance and the watch is made of 316L stainless steel but it has a screw down case back and a screw down crown to help with that water resistance and the weight as supplied is 149 grams. Now then, let's have a look at this guy on the wrist.
So that is the PD1766 on the wrist. And as you can see, it wears very well on my six and three quarter inch wrist. And it wears better actually than the PD1701, which I found at 42 millimeters was just rather clunky. So let's have a look at the finishing here before we go into the things like the bracelet, etc. So finishing is actually a mixed bag here. We have brush sides, rather slab sided, but they have a good turn down on them. So they wear it very well on top of the wrist. The bezel itself is in two sections. You've got an undercut section and a top section, which has been nicely polished. And as you can see at that acute angle there, have a look at that crystal. Look at that. Now, you're either going to like that or you're not going to like that. Now, I do like that simply because you read the time this way or you read it that way. But you also get a nice interaction there with that light. I do like that. So no issues there at all for me. You have a tachymeter bezel, of course. Now, I don't ever have a use for a tachymeter bezel. For those of you out there who want a really good tutorial on it, if you go to Peter Kotz's website, he does a really good in-depth view on how you use a tachymeter bezel. Now, as you can see here, it's been finished well. And there's no issues with the printing atop that as well. Very nice indeed. If you look at now the top of the lugs there, nice linear brushing. It's not the best. It's rather streaky, but, you know, it's more than reasonable at this price point. And an unusual take there on the links for this bracelet. As you can see, they've went for polished outers and a brushed inner. And then you've got polished edges to the bracelet as well. And this is not a screw pin system here. This is basically just a push pin. And it was no problem at all to actually size up. Six lengths removed. There is room for another couple to come out. So around about six and a half inch wrists, you're right on the cusp there if you're wanting to wear this on the bracelet. Now, as with all Pagani designs, I have to admit here, the bracelet, again, is an Achilles heel for this watch. The head of the watch, and we'll get into the rest of the head in a second, but we have to address the elephant in the room here. Whenever you have a butterfly clasp, you always run the risk of not getting the correct fit on it. And that is the case for me here, simply because there's no half lengths. Really need half lengths if we're going to get a, an attempt at a decent sizing in this watch. For me, it either wears too tight or very loose. So as you saw on my wrist, it was just pinching the inside. And if I put an extra link back in, it just flops around. There is another problem with this watch, which seems to be something of a caveat with Pagani design watches and I've seen it in so many of them we have an issue here with sticky links below here and it just happens all the time as you can see uh, and the integration from the end here look at it on the light side here it's not the best so you got the straight side down here and then you get the out outer end to the top of these lugs here protruding out and then angling themselves down and it just doesn't look quite right there so it's just an observation. When you put that on any other strap, including a leather, that problem disappears. So I would suggest that if you're going to buy this watch and that concerns you, just buy it on the leather and that will mitigate that problem. It's something you have to be aware of in the purchase price of this watch. If you get a good deal in the sale, great, or any other sale. If not, it's something you have to be aware of. I say it time and time again, Pagani Designs seem to shoot themselves in the foot every single time with these bracelets. It's such a shame. It's been well executed, good articulation, but in here, as you can see, it sticks. It's really annoying, and it just doesn't seem to fit well with the end here. So it's just a bit of a shame. Other than that, it looks good. It just doesn't fit very well at all at the ends here, nor does it give you a good fit on the wrist, which is a real shame. But as I say, finishing on the rest of the head of the watch, it's just, it's just impeccable. It's fine. There's no issues with that at all. Nice brushing down the side. Lovely sharp chamfer here. Lovely polished edges here. Back into a polished top, mixing with brushing in the center. Really nice polishing on the side of the bezel. Lovely uh, views on top of that crystal there. I really do like it. And it's very clear. I do like it. And the way this face is actually done is nice. I've got no issues with that at all. Broad sword style hands or broad arrow hands, if you want to put it that way. Really nicely done. Looked to be quite expensive. And obviously those recessed areas there for your two sub-dials have been done really well. And I love that sunburst. The Begani Design logo has been applied, as are the indices at the side. Lovely detailed minute track around the edges there with your minute markers and then the subdivisions is really well done. And it suits the watch down to a T. The VK64, you can see here, is running. There's no issues with the VK64. Very reliable movement. You don't have to worry about it. Battery change every three years or so. And as you can see, it's been running for around about 
what, 18 minutes here. Yeah. To start it and stop at the top pusher here. Stop it. Stops it just on the 39 seconds there. Start it again. Stop it again. If you want to reset it, bang, right back to the beginning. No problem at all. And that resets your 60 minute timer there. The right hand counter is your 24 hour timer. So as you can see, it's 20 past 10 and it tells you on the 12 hour timer, or sorry, the 24 hour timer where you are. Uh, regarding the crown, screw down, no issues, pop it out, pull it out to that position, change the time, no issues with it at all, pop it back in, and nice easy screw down. Very nice indeed. And then turning the watch over, using the butterfly is fine, nicely finished, no issues with it, no rattles on it really. And then you've got your solid end links at the end there, and the back of the case it is pretty well done. Yeah, Sam blasted on the back with the Pagani Design logo, PD1766, stainless steel. I'm turning it over, you get the rest of the detail there. Yep, no problems with that at all. Now, how did this watch fare in the loom department? Hi there, and welcome back to the Cupboard of Doom, and this is the Pagani Design PD1766 homaging a very famous watch from 1957. Now, as you can see here, the luminescence on this watch is decent. It's not particularly good. It actually looks better on camera than it does in person. In fact, if I just move away just now and have a look at it, I would say it's half as bright as it looks in the camera. But if you're wanting this to tell the time at three o'clock in the morning, for example, if you go to bed at midnight, you're going to have a real hard time telling the time as with me this morning, being summertime, Molly wanted out very early in the morning. I'll just move in a little bit closer here. And when Molly wanted out this morning, I couldn't tell the time on this watch at all. It was just there, but I just couldn't disseminate what the time was. So, the loom on this watch, I would give a 5 out of 10. It's there for about half an hour or so, but once you get into the dark hours, it's not really there for you. It's a real shame because the colour of the loom is excellent. It's just that the potency is as you would expect with Pagani Design. They're not renowned for their luminescence. All right, with that, let's get back to the studio. All right, guys, so what did you think of that performance from the Cupboard of Doom there? Was that expected? Were you expecting more? I have to say it's as expected from me. So when it comes to this watch, we all knew that the Superluminova, or lack of, was going to be an issue. So from my point of view, that's not a disappointment. It's something that Pagani really have to look at. And I think you're probably going to agree with me on that one. Uh, why have I got this sitting here? Well, this is the Achilles heel of Pagani Design. I've said it time and time again. No half links. You can't get a correct size on it. Poor integration of the end links. Sticky end links. And just poor integration with the log ends here. This is a common problem with Pagani Design. And they just can't seem to get round that. And I don't understand why they can't do it. Other guys are doing it. Pagani Design, take note. It's something you have to get sorted out. This is the way you should buy this watch. If you're buying this watch at a good price and you're buying it on a leather strap, this is a great little watch for a good price. If you're buying it on this thing, then that's just going to beat your carbuncle. It's just going to annoy you all the time and it's going to ruin your watch for you. So as far as I'm concerned, this watch as it stands here on a leather strap is perfectly fine. We know the Luminova is not good, but it's a great little face in the watch. It looks great. It's got a great movement. Put it on a leather, you've got no issues and you'll get the correct size. If you keep buying it with these things, you're going to have issues. And that's really my take on this watch. It's decent, but get rid of this thing. And Pagani Design, please listen to your customers because they're starting to get a bit annoyed with it. Alright, so that's me. This is John from John's Watch Joint. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again on the next one. Ta-ra for now.